when people go through bad times, you know, we hear people say, offer it up, right? Offer it up. My mother says, offer it up is like a Catholic way of saying, shut up. <laughs> it is not easy to offer, offer it up. Of course, theologically, that is what we should do. That is what Jesus did. He offered himself up on the cross. As we humans, it is not easy for me. Maybe easy for you guys. It is not easy. When we hear shooting in the school, innocent children, innocent people die, it is not easy to offer it up. When we see accidents, tornadoes, different things happening around us, all of a sudden people lost their family, entire family, or part of the family disappearing. It is not easy to offer it up. Other day, Deacon Joe, last week, his son-in-law's family, they were driving in a day, all of a sudden, an accident. Both of his son-in-law's parents, Denny and Dion, died in that accident. Not easy to offer it up. There are people who go through depression, anxiety. After COVID, still people go through tough times. There are people who go through mental illness and physical, spiritual illness, emptiness. Not know, do not know where to go, what to do. Stuck. It is not easy to offer it up. Divorces in the family. Children divided. Tough times. Not easy to offer it up. That is why every year the church we come together on Palm Sunday. We make that procession to the sanctuary with the hallelujah singing, the triumphal end, reminding ourselves the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Because Jesus knew what would happen to him in Jerusalem. Most excruciating pain, taking the cross and death and the resurrection. He gives us hope. He gives us hope. The suffering has a meaning. Every tear come out of our eyes has a meaning. We have to stay hopeful. And that understanding we are reminded every day. Because we have no control over what happens around us. Only thing we can do is what we can do, guide our heart and mind. Jesus is empowering us. So Jesus is empowering us as the firstborn going ahead, going before us, showing us a way of life, carrying the most heaviest cross you can even imagine. And said, these sufferings and death is nothing. There is resurrection. Stay hopeful. And death is not the end of life. Suffering is not the end of life. And also, that is why St. Therese of Calcutta, in the most beautiful way, she said, when I look at the crucifix, I remember how much my Lord loved me. When I look at the sacred host, I know how much my Lord is loving me now. When we go through pain, suffering, we know how much we are in love. That is why we feel pain. When, I, when we go through tough times, that is a reminder that we are taking the cross with our Lord. We are making that triumphal entry to Jerusalem. And if I am suffering, I am just three days away from the resurrection. 
That is what makes us stay awesome. Keep moving, keep going. This faith helps us to offer us up. Offering it up is not just a Catholic way of saying shut up. It is a most powerful, beautiful way of life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.